Welcome to Ron Wills Money Matters. Financial insecurity in men has an impact on relationships. Now, you know, I don't usually talk about relationships on here, but there's a connection, of course, between money and relationships. There's, there's a definite connection. Yeah, on my main channel, I talk about men who can get sex without you know spending money on a woman there's plenty of broke dudes out there actually in relationships with women but let's look at it from the bigger picture and understanding how financial insecurity in men actually have a problem with the relationship issue these days because a big issue is the amount of single men out here that's a major issue because if we are talking long term if we're talking about being married, we're talking about having a family, okay, money is important. And not to trick on the woman, not to spend on her, but you still got to pay for the house you're in. You still got to pay for stuff for the children. You got to pay for food. So that's why I always say marriage, shoot, if you don't marry necessary for love because marriage is a business. All right. If that's a business, you need money for that business. But what you have now, you have a situation where many men, they aren't working. They aren't working or they're not making the money that they should. Understand something, regardless of that percentage of men who can get sex or even relationships without having any money, for the most part, a man is supposed to be the breadwinner. A man is supposed to be the provider. He's supposed to be the one making the most money. That's a cultural thing. Now, it might be some cultural shifts, but those take a while. Those, take, those can take several generations. But what we have now is a situation where many men, they can't be a breadwinner. And even some women looking who make it money, they still looking for a breadwinner. Because many women, shoot, they want the freedom if they want to stop working or just stay home and take care of the children to do that. But many men don't have that. And then many men feel that. Let's just be real. That's a big part of a man's identity. I remember when I was still married, uh, we were part of a group. My uh, wife, my ex-wife, was a part of a group of stay-at-home mothers. And so the men, the men they were married to, had to really be breadwinners for them to be a part of this group. And they didn't mind. Not a single one minded. They, didn't, they weren't like, oh, she got to work or do that. Shoot, let's be real. If a man, most men, if they feel like they have so much money, they can leave their women at home, their wives at home, they feel great. That's an ego thing. But what happens when a man can't do that? And then, indeed, if you look at money, because on my, when I talk on my other channel, when I talk about sovereign men, what do I say? A key part of it is having your money because you need it in the society. Unfortunately, the overwhelming, well, 99.9% .9 of people on the planet can't really just live in a space, live in a space where they can just build, hunt, and build their own stuff. Yeah, you still have a few indigenous tribes, okay, but we're talking about it in the modern world. If a man wants his own home, he needs to have money. If a man wants his own car, money, if he just wants to be able to move the way he wants to move in life, he needs to have money. And then with, with that confidence, then he can get into relationships because in his mind, he's not thinking, you know, I can, I can talk about, yeah, getting some women without spending money and all of that, but a man, most men, even those men who do get to the sex, they still know they need money. It's a different thing. You have that confidence. You know you can be the breadwinner. If I ever get married again, I know I can be the breadwinner. I already know that. <laughs> it's just like, hey, and it makes you feel a certain way. But if you don't have that financial security, you're not going to feel that way. That's having a big problem. Like, people don't realize how much that single man thing is connected to the economy. In fact, when I talked about that before on this channel, a lot of guys weren't connecting. The, they were just talking about the single man aspect. But it was like that has an effect on the um, economy. That has an effect on the economy, and the economy has an effect on that. 
is men out here can't get jobs. Like I give you an example. The other uh, yesterday I was driving, I heard uh, something on the radio. Um, it's just listen to the radio, listen to some music, do do do. But uh, and you know you had the DJs, they'll talk about some news or something. They were talking about something about a major uh, fast food restaurant. They're going to experiment with AI drive-through windows. I don't give average. That's rare. If anytime I give a, a company name or something, it's usually slipping. They're not paying me. But anyway, they experiment with AI windows, uh, drive-through windows, and I'm like, that's going to take some jobs away. Speaking with a lady, I mentioned that to a lady friend yesterday. Uh, and she was like, well, that's going to take jobs away. If you See, the thing is, okay, you take all these jobs away, especially from men. And I'm going to get into that in a second, how we even got to this. But you take those jobs away, even those like little jobs like that, and a man doesn't have money, he's not going to feel, he's not going to feel confident in himself. He's going to have a hard time getting sovereign. And indeed, um, a lot of the problems we have now is the manufacturing being moved out of the country. A lot of jobs that men would do being moved out of the country or being replaced now by uh, automation. And I'm like, OK, if men can't do these jobs, how are they going to feel like they are breadwinner in relationships? I mean, shoot, they even exp uh, I'm reading stuff about how they're using driverless trucks. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, truckers make a lot of money. Many men have built up, many men, primarily men, primarily men, let's be, be real. There's probably some lady truck drivers out there, hey, more power to them, but that's primarily men. How's that gonna affect not just the economy if these men aren't working anymore, but their relationships? There's truckers out there, they got home, like not just a home, multiple homes. Shoot, you got some. Truckers, shoot, they get a few more trucks and workers, they become millionaires just driving. And that's not, hey, that's a great job. Like, I, I, I would, I, psh, no one should ever like look down on a trucker, but that's just an, an example. Well, if they don't have them anymore, how's, that's not only affecting like how much money they making, but how are they gonna be breadwinners? How are they gonna be breadwinners? And that's what they train to do, drive. And that's serious. That's a serious thing. You look at these truckers on the road and everything. Got to stay awake. Got to stay sharp. But then they're not making money. They're not making money. And then, you know, we know about the manufacturing being moved out. And then even, uh, even on a college level, it's mostly women. A lot of guys aren't going to college. So many guys dropping out. They don't have that confidence. They have that financial insecurity. They're not making money. How are they going to get in a regular relationship? Now, yeah, if they, you know, they look good, got that sex appeal, they can still get sex. But even in those situations, when a woman wants to get more serious and got to look at the business aspect of a relationship or even further, oh, even that guy gets kicked to the curb. Yeah, because this goes beyond sex. Like I said, if we just leave it to sex, oh, yeah, fine. But we're talking about the business aspect of a relationship, of a marriage. And just the psychological thing of a man being a breadwinner, oh, that's going to have an impact. That's having an impact. And I think only a few commentators, uh, public, uh, mainstream uh, commentators, like on like some cable shows, have made the connection between the financial issues out here that men are having. Not even, you know, some just don't even want to work, but part of that is you know, what jobs are available where they could truly be a breadwinner. That's a big issue. Now, somebody like Rom, I could say, hey, yeah, just get two or three jobs. But, you know, every guy does, hey, most men want just that one good job that they can just be on, be loyal to, you know? Because then if they if they not feel insecure financially, then they ain't feel like they can be a breadwinner. They like, well, I'm not going to deal with the women. And indeed, how many women out here, even though you got some women who are making a lot of money, most men in general still make more. You still got a lot of women who are still working class or even if they uh, consider themselves middle class, they're not making money like that. They still looking for a man who can bring money to the table. As far as a strong relationship, just forget the sex part, just the relationship aspects, the family aspects. 
And it's a really a big deal. And it really needs, it really, there needs to be more connection made about that. And here's what I would say. I would just say this. If this economic issue is dealt with and men are able to get jobs, sustaining jobs, living wage jobs, I, I, you know what? I would use the word guarantee. A guarantee. If they feeling good financially, the relationships will get better. I guarantee. But, you know, that needs to be a real discussion. But I'm just going to put it out there. And there's going to be problems as long as men are having trouble finding that living wage job or opportunities. Um, and I'm going to just say jobs because businesses, eh, that's iffy anyway. Let's just be real. They Most businesses will fail. You know, most entrepreneurs, they have two or three businesses before they find the one to stick, if they even stick that way. But it's an issue that's a, it's a major issue and the connections need to be made. But the main thing is men need that money. So I want you all to think about that. And you know what? No matter what, um, still, let's go make that money.